Yo, Aguan, hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to lock velocities on your MIDI keyboard. So when you hit a note, it comes up as the same velocity across the board. It doesn't matter if you hit it soft or you hit it hard. This can be helpful if you're trying to come up with a melody using your MIDI keyboard, but you're not a piano player and you're not hitting it hard enough or forceful enough or soft enough and it's just coming out all over the place okay so if you don't know who i am i'm jay carter ray from jaycarterray.com teaching you how to be better at music online business and online marketing this is the number one spot for musicians and creatives that don't want to be starving artists so if that sounds like you click on that subscribe button check out the rest of the content on the channel because you will love it here now let's get straight into this now this was a question i believe that was sent to me in my instagram dms and i do have to quickly make a public service announcement please do not send your questions to me on instagram in my dms i like to use my instagram dms for personal purposes i don't really like to use it for business purposes or for public people to or people that i don't know to holler at me on instagram and stuff like that generally um i prefer you know people that i don't know and fans viewers and that sort of stuff to just comment on my public posts the thing with asking questions is when you ask them on a video it actually helps out the video so i'd much prefer it and it would help me out if you'd actually leave your questions on the video that's why after each video i say if you got any questions or any tutorials you want me to make leave them in the comment section down below it actually helps out now when you don't do that and you come and message me on instagram it doesn't help out so please help out instead of you know being selfish and trying to get your answer in private i'm only making this because i feel like other people would probably want to learn this as well and it's something that i didn't even know how to do before i was asked this and it seems like something that's a useful thing otherwise i would have completely ignored that because it's just it just seems rude for someone to come in my dms to try and ask a question instead of just asking it on my youtube videos or asking it in public where i can help everyone instead of helping that one person if you get what i'm saying but that's enough on that matter let's get into the video right it's super super easy super super straightforward all you need to do is go to options go to midi settings and then go to your midi controller wherever that may be this is the midi controller that i'm using right about now here you'll see link note on velocity let me put my headphones on and instead of velocity as you see as i hit this lower it's low in velocity as i hit higher it's higher or harder i mean if we change this from link to velocity to none it doesn't matter how hard i hit it it's the same across the board that same velocity okay now let me bring up my channel rack and let's see if we move the velocity up whether that so this is where it starts at okay this is the general velocity And if I was to record this in, let's do that. Everything's the same velocity as you can see. It wasn't the best melody, but there we go. And if we play it back. You can tell I'm not a piano player. So very, very easy. Let me recap once more. You go to options, go to MIDI settings, click on the MIDI controller you're using, go to link note on velocity two and change this to none, okay? I might actually leave this like that because I don't really play on my keyboard that much. And my piano playing skills are very mediocre so it'd probably be better for me to just have everything on the same velocity right about now and to just edit it after so that's how you do it and my question of the day is what midi controller do you have because i've been looking into getting one of these midi controllers that light up with the different scales and whatnot i really really want to get one of those because i feel like it will just help me learn how to play a lot better and, and get me to use the MIDI controller a whole lot more. Right about now, I just use my MIDI controller to find melodies and to find the right note, basically. Like I don't actually play anything in. 
do you play anything in? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you haven't already, I highly suggest you check out my R&B trap mixing template. It actually helps you save a bunch of time by making your beats half mixed before you even get to the mixing stage. Like this piano usually wouldn't sound like this. It'd sound more like this. It's a bit, a bit, a bit too much. This is a whole lot more subdued, a whole lot better for R&B trap and the type of beats that I like to make. And this basically comes with, you know, EQs, reverbs, that sort of stuff, and basically has everything in the right spot. So you don't really have to worry about that sort of stuff. And when you get to the mixing stage, all you really need to worry about is getting your levels right, okay? So this will save you a bunch of time if you want to grab this, if you want to check it out, go to jcarterray.com forward slash RMB trap FL and you can check out the template there. There's more information on that as well. And if you've got any questions or any other tutorials you want me to make, please leave a comment down below. Please do not message me on Instagram. Please, please. I don't even like using my Instagram for business purposes. Please, please. And I'll see you in the next video where you'll learn more about music, online business, and online marketing. Peace out.